Hello friend, welcome. This is Golden Sun. In this video, we'll start playing with GoLand. GoLand is a programming language developed by Google. Okay, so we'll use, in this video, we'll create a small list um, circuit server in GoLand, okay? And uh, we'll call it, so whenever the client connects to this circuit server, it will send out a, a chess move, okay? Uh, so here is our temporary place here. There's nothing. Now let's create a chess move dot go, okay? This is our um, go file. So yeah, don't worry about the syntax here. We'll talk about that in detail later, okay? So in this video, we we'll only just get some feel of what our Go um, program is or looks like. Package main. Yeah, we need a main package here and uh, import um, two things. We need to do IO. Yeah, and we need to do net. Those are uh, libraries. Okay, now here is the real code function main, right? Like most of um, other programming language, right? So um, we only need three lines of code. Listener, which is our circuit server. Listener and uh, equals, no. Uh -huh, like that. This is like um, net dot listen the protocol TCP and uh, the port, right? We are use this so we can use our existing um, circuit client to test this this circuit server. Now here is like we create a circuit server socket then we can uh, call the accept function of listener to get a socket, right? We name it, yeah, it's called connection here in GoLand. So we just use this name here, listener dot accept. Now, after we get this socket, right? This is the socket. And we can use the socket to send out. So we'll use the IO dot write string. Remember our protocol? If you watch our previous videos, we'll write out this kind of thing, right? Let's move a piece from zero, zero to three, three. Okay. So we need a we need a uh, line break like that. So that's it. So if we chess move, okay. So we can run the the program in this way. Go run chess move like that. So it blocks there. It's waiting for. Um, uh, the connection. Now, let's bring up our one of our existing chess client. Okay, so let's run it. Yeah. So if we connect right to the local host here and uh, with this part, we can get the, the game move, right? The chess move, connect. Yeah, circuit closed, yes. Don't worry about that. But we do have the this data, right? Zero, comma, zero, three, comma, three. Uh, we receive the data from, uh, from our server here. Oh. The server also quit, you see, also quit. Yeah, because 
like what I said, right? This is the simplest uh, single chess move uh, socket server. Yeah, it did. It did his job, right? Its job. So, okay, so the code is like that. Here is the code, right? So that's make a different move, for example, from 0, 1 to 0, 3, okay? So, let's go here. 0, 1 to, yeah, 0, 3, like that, okay? So now, yeah, here is the code. We only actually, basically, we have three lines of code to do that. This is the socket server, right? We we get the socket uh, uh, server socket, which uh, server socket is a name used in many other program languages. But here, um, because the function system function is called listen, so we use name listener. But it's the server socket, and we after we have the server socket object that we can call its its method accept right accept accept. Then we get our socket. This is a socket, right? So we can use the socket to send out this data here with a line break and appended to its end. Okay. Now let's try it again. Go run this right just move now it's blocked waiting here you see and we can reset and connect and this time the move will be the white pawn here from here to here right zero one two zero three let's see yeah it works right and the server also also quit the server also ends because there's no uh, like for loop or whatever loop here. After this blocking, this is blocking code, right? After we accept the uh, connection requirement, right? Request from the client, then it, it moves on, right? It moves on to this line and send out the, the data and, and quit, right? Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.